guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Brian Doubler. I'm Brian and I'm bringing you today another vlog. So I got to run some errands in the city. So now I'm currently in the CBD, as you can see. All right, so the plan for today is I'm gonna go visit a bookstore. Today is the 30th of October in Sydney. And as you know, tomorrow is Halloween the 31st. I'm supposed to be on a Saturday, but I'm not gonna go. I'm pretty sure I don't have any plans for Halloween, so yeah, maybe I'm just gonna visit a bookstore and maybe recommend you some books to read on Halloween. So let's go. First stop is that bookstore right there, Abbey's Bookshop. All right, so here it is. So I'm going inside the bookstore. Um, it's pretty quiet in here, so I'm trying to keep it down. I don't particularly find um, where they keep their Halloween section, so I might have to ask. The bookstore itself is two levels high. The top part is for like comics and stuff. All right, <laughs> thank you. Guess I had to ask that guy back there if I'm allowed to film in here. Just, you know, make sure that they're all right with everything. So I gotta ask the one upstairs too. Got a stormtrooper, which is good. Star Wars, which I also like. section particularly because it's not like there isn't actually a theme built around it but they have a lot of different books right here science fiction and stuff and maybe horror too um, it's just not classified into one single spot so I guess this is where the um, most of Star Wars books are as you can see they have a lot of them I've never personally read oh I only happen to um, have read the Boba Fett one if you haven't seen it it's in a previous video but it's been a few years ago since I last read a Star Wars book yeah and then right on the opposite oh they still have Star Wars here there are a few Star Treks here I'm not too into Star Treks I'm more into Star Wars so the half of it would be like science fiction and young adults and the other half would be Educational. Wow, they have an Indonesian section. It's been a while since I saw this. I think I'm not gonna get anything today because I'm still currently reading a book called called Once a Runner. Just started, so yeah. Oh, here it is. Tolkien, Lord of the Rings. Many of you guys enjoy reading this. I haven't read any, to be honest, and I also haven't watched the film. It's really well, interesting is this car right here, look at this. Oh, him again. He's I'm wondering, how much is it to get one of these? That would be sick though. Yeah, so I guess that's it for this um, second level. So you should, you should check it out if you're in the area, Abbey's Bookshop. Actually, the second floor is called Galaxy Bookshop. It's galaxy. Yeah, so that was the second floor. I didn't get anything good there. But yeah, I'm gonna check out the next bookstore and see what they have there. Yeah, so the other bookstore is somewhere around there, which is Demak Sydney. Is that how to pronounce it? Demux? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Here's okay, it. Demux. Alright, we're close already. Can see the sign. I don't know if we're allowed to film there though. The other bookshop, Abbey's and Galaxy, were kind enough to let me to do so. Yeah. 
Hopefully they'll allow me to shoot inside. Here it is. They have two sections. This is a stationery store. This one is a bookstore. The books building. Here it is. So guys, I gotta tell you a story. So I went into Dimux, right? And so the closest counter was the cashier. So I had to talk to the cashier. Um, I asked her whether I'm allowed to film in here. And she actually talked to her superior, the manager, Anthony, who was kind enough to let me film in here. Yeah, all the people here are very helpful and this is why um, this place is one of my favorite bookstores in Sydney, so you gotta check this out, man. Um, yeah, so I ended up registering. Um, I showed Anthony my YouTube channel, and um, yeah, I was asked to register for a visitor, and look what I got. Yeah, thanks for letting me um, film in here. I really appreciate that. <laughs> So, Dimux is actually a three-level bookstore. The top level is for like um, business and self-development and travel. The second level is more on the fiction, which is the ground floor. Uh, fiction, literature, classics, which is my favorite section. Let me show you a bit of the basement or the lower ground level on what it looks like. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Ah, Dr. Seuss. I used to read this a lot. Green eggs and ham. And the Lorax, but couldn't find it anywhere. Oh, here it is. Do you also have Percy Jackson here? Which was pretty big when I was younger. I used to read this one just before the trials of Apollo, um, the one before it. Couldn't remember it though. Hi there! And yeah, I guess that's it for the basement uh, level. Now let's go to the um, ground floor. Take a look at some classics. Alright guys, so we're now back to the ground level. Let's check this out. Classics, you know it. Um, so they have a whole lot of Penguin Book collections. Which I think most people collect. But personally I only have one classic book in this form. Which will be... Um, I mean in this edition. Which will be Love in the Time of Cholera. And they have this cool collection of classic stuff with really cool covers and really thick ones but this is a bit pricey 50 bucks for this one yeah personally i never buy books like this because they're just way too big and doesn't fit in my um, collection at all and yeah they're pretty pricey um i just look for the ones in paperback. Currently looking for some... I don't know. I have quite a few classics to go through. I need to finish um, Love in the Time of Cholera. I'll do that next after I finish this running book that I told you before. Okay, we have the horror. Oh, I've always wanted to read the H.P. Lovecraft, but I don't really know what the genre pertains towards. This is the call of Joel 2. Do I pronounce that right though? So I guess it's classified as horror. Of course, we have Stephen King right here. Um, yeah. So we have crime section here. Oh, it's Christmas already. 
Rudy, and of course, Dark Vader. Might have to get this. I don't know. We'll see. From the well read people of the Mox. Here it is. Yeah, so this is basically all the best sellers are put right here. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the ground level. They have a lot of fiction here and crime and classics, literature. And it's also joined by the stationery shop. In which um, is the place where I bought my picture. Uh, where I bought Christmas presents for my family. So yeah, let's check that out. Here it is. I think they had a Dwight postcard here somewhere. Christmas Dwight from the office. Which I really like. But I didn't get last year, so yeah. So check it out guys, Demux in Sydney. It's a pretty big store and I promise you wouldn't be disappointed if you come to this store. Oh they, have, they also have painting and drawings. Like maybe kits and stuff if you enjoy to do so. Oh journaling. Most of you like journaling right? If you do, there's a lot of journals here. So you might be able to get that. And here are a few knickknacks. IQ tests. Yeah. Interesting for gifts. When Christmas is right around the corner. Yeah, so that's basically it for the ground floor. I'll take you up to the second floor. To show you more about the um, business books, oh, they have art two, history, new age, reference, sport, gardening, architecture, diet and nutrition, music, family, motivation, business, military, politics, and much more. Oh, this is a new book by Matthew McConaughey. Green lights. I have quite a few books on motivation and self-development that I haven't gone through, so I might finish that first. <laughs> but here it is. They have a lot. Um, they have a whole section for dummies there. Motivation. For those of you who lack motivation, reminder for me, get motivated. <laughs> Yeah guys, I think for today I decided not to get um, any book at all because I still need to get um, through some at home and I'm currently reading one which I didn't bring so I'll show you later um, Yeah, that's basically Demux So I'm gonna be heading out soon but I'm still waiting on um, Anthony who gave me this badge Just want to say thank you and yeah, just return this all right, now I'm headed out. I just talked to the um, other manager, John, and he called Anthony for me, and then he checked me out. I gave the badge back, and yeah, I really appreciate it though, because they're letting me film in here. Yeah. All right, um, I guess this is the end of this vlog. Um, I showed you two bookstores already, but I didn't get any books today. Um, I hope you're all doing well, you're staying safe, um, and I hope you are all doing great. So, Brian Doubler signing out. See you on the next vlog. Bye!